Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Well, looks like today we're going to be playing some more Historic Brawl. How's that sound to you guys? Sounds good to me. Today we're going to be using Jin Kataxius, Progress Tyrant. We're going to be using him to help double up on all our good spells. And we also have a new card from Dominaria United. Vesuvian Diplomancy. So that way any of our spells that target one of our creatures will create a copy. And we have a few things to help with that, like Helm of the Host. We have, you know, stuff like uh, Lantern Bearer, so we can get it in the graveyard and then use it as an equip. Uh, slip out the back. We've got a blur in here. We've got a few cards here that'll help us with that doubling up of creatures. We got Spark Double, Quasi Duplicate. Got Mirror Hall Mimic. Got some Key to the Archive, which came with Jinka Taxis. If I'm copying all of my stuff and then copying it more, copying him, I can just keep this train rolling. I can, I've, I can try and get at least two of these. Uh, Oh, second, re Return of the Second Sons. Just a second, I clicked that on accident. So we'll just go ahead and slip that back in there. Without any further ado, let's get into games and see what kind of fun stuff we can get into. I should have set this up beforehand. I do apologize. Uh, da, da, da. I'm gonna be using double the fun! Doubling up on all our fun stuff. <laughs> Let's get into some games and see what we can do. See what kind of mischief we can get into. Alright. Interesting. I hate how I have to do this every time, man. Wizards, fix your game. Turn up, the, uh, turn up the volume a little bit. There we go. All right. This is keepable. Got some counters. Got a cutthroat. Ooh. Speaker of the heavens. Got Amara, soul of the accord. Interesting commander choice. We'll, we'll see how she goes. Hit me for one. Let's foretell the sod coming. Hell, Sublime Epiphany is another way to help us double up on stuff. We're not too worried about taking some damage here. Oh, that is a little rough for sure. Whew. We may already be dead here. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I do not want Heliod coming in here, ruining my plans. <clears throat> Gosh. Yeah, we're screwed here. This is not a good matchup right here. We're just gonna give them the GG and move on to another game. <laughs> Oof, this was not a good matchup right off the bat. <laughs> That's okay. We can get something going. Again, this this deck can run. Everybody's running real quick decks right you nowadays. But let's see what we can get into. Let's get another game going here. All right, got Shana. Mm. Dominari United has got some broken cards. <laughs> this is an interesting hand, but we'll keep it. Got a lantern, first turn play at least, so we'll just go ahead and bring out the lantern bearer. Nice, planner incision is a great card for this deck. 
I just need to get the Diplomancy. All right, Wash Away. That's a great magic card to have. Hit you for one. She has an untapped land. Shauna is coming out next turn, which is why we got Wash Away. And there she is. Oh, no. All right, let's bring out Brineborn Cutthroat at the end of his turn. Is he going to counter it? Nope. He's just going to scoop. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Fair enough. Let's get into another game. want to at least get this deck going, you know? Get stuff on the online. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Minsk and Boo! Gonna be throwing hamsters at me, huh? Let's throw in some hamsters. Ooh, Spell Pierce, Cloud Conceer, Omniscience. Oh, what a hand. What a hand. Let's go. Let's go with it. Minsk and Boo is a five cost, which is good for me. Ooh, hello. That's great for me. Now I just want to get out Jin Cataxius. A Lizard Blades. That is a fancy magic card. Pass the turn. Got Counterspell, Spell Pierce. Oof, no. <laughs> That'll slow him down a little bit. That is a ugh. <laughs> Hit me for two. Draw magic card. Play the honored heirloom. And take another two damage here. Yep. Ouch. Bone Crusher Giant. Well, let's spell pierce that. <laughs> we'll do the Cloudkin Seer. And draw a card. Draw a magic card. Alright, Tall Ran. That's a good. That's great for this deck. No blocks. Taking another two. Let's bring out Tolrand. And we'll just foretell this. Hit you for two. Okay. Apparently he doesn't like Tolrand. <laughs> All right, then. Works for me, I guess. Just having people salty scoop. I mean, we're just running through some games here. People are not liking the look of Jin Cataxius. Jetmere! All right. <laughs> we're going to have to play very strategically here which means this is not gonna work this however will got some got some good ramp right off the top hello and a tap land and a signet pass the turn we will consider at the end of his turn. Tangle Floor Edron. Interesting play. All he wants to do is just get big cards on the field. Let's keep that. Let's see. We'll do Honored Heirloom. Bring out Grandpa.
grandpappy. Circus root. Gonna get some lands. That's okay with me. Ramping, ramping. We are ramping too. Let's do a Mystic Sanctuary. Put that right back on top. Take the action. We will run out Palladium Mirror. And get in and hit you for two. Pass the turn. Leave up Counterspell Magic even though I don't have any, just as the illusion. <laughs> The illusion of counter spells. You gonna bring out Jet Mirror yet? Inspiring Commander. That's a good card. That's a magic card. We'll bring out the Brineborn Cutthroat. Big old Jin Cataxius. No attacks. Ugh, auto tapper. Why wouldn't you tap the Palladium Mirror? <laughs> Should have. Shouldn't have trusted auto tapper. Oh well. Jin Cataxius is on the field. Gallic readers gonna draw a card and gain a life. Rumor gatherer. That's a good card. I do love me a rumor gatherer. All right. I should have tapped a palladium mirror myself so I could use consider. Ugh, that was a that was a misplay on my part. We'll play in Island. Should I swing in with Jin? A two, three, four, five. He has enough to kill it with everything. Oh. No attacks. We will end the turn. A Lotus Cobra. Resolving. He still has enough to cast his jet mirror. Not bad at all. Topiary Stomper. Well, we're going to consider. Yeah, we'll take the Midnight Clock. And we'll take that and use it to counter our his topiary stomper. <laughs> Growing the cutthroat. <laughs> All right, what else you got? Brazen upstarts. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, yep, Gallagher Eaters, Rumor Gatherer, blah, 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 blah. But no inspiring capture trigger. Everybody laughs at white card draw, but what do you, what do you, I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, my turn. Let's see. Oh, do we do this? Well, let's do Palladium Mirror. We got two, three... That's gonna take it all of it. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, let's just let's do this. Cause I'm gonna copy, make two midnight clocks. Not enough to bring out the second gin, but we will end our turn.
get some counters. What you got? Rabble rousing. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Hiding away. <clears throat> There's Jetmir. Resolve that. All right. Gonna be able to do the rabble rousing thing. Create a bunch of tokens. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a GG's on my part. <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. Everything's got double strike, trampled. Oof. And a crater hoof to fuck me over. <laughs> well. Oof. I'll let, I'll let it, I'll let it go, because, good God, <laughs> good golly, Miss Molly, that, gotta hate Jetmir decks, <laughs> well, let's get into another game, like, my deck is not doing what it needs to do. That's the sad thing. This deck has so much good stuff to do. It's just not doing it. Oh, it's hurting. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on. Let's get some games going. All right. Oh, God, <laughs> Lord Xander. Well, something. I got some plays that I can run with. So well, let's start things off. Of course, the eighth card on top of the deck. Isn't it always? Leyline's always eighth. Steel heart. All right. And I'll opt. Yeah, we'll take that island. Got the cutthroat. We'll play the signet and pass. <clears throat> Oh, was Johnny com too bad? Johnny got completed. So sad on his part. I mean, we will pass the turn. We'll go ahead and flash out Brineborn Cutthroat. Well, he plays his sad robot. Poor robot. So sad. Such a sad robot. And play in a mountain. And we will play an island. Hmm. Well, one, two, three, four, five. He's still off, so let's go ahead and do the ley line. And not attack, because he's just going to want to draw that card. Don't know what he's got foretold, but it can't be good. Enters the battlefield. This card's half their hand. Attacks, mills, dies. Sacrifice. 
prices. Ugh. Just such a rough card. What you got? Anger of the gods. Oh, all right. Well, we'll play the Mystic Sanctuary. Put that back on top. And pass the turn. Because if you play Xander this turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got one more untapped land. Okay, let's see. Alright, we'll play Grandpa. Does it resolve? Eh, no, uh, no, it does not. But that's okay, because I'm baiting out his essence scatter, so bait out some counter magic, and now I can make, I can just disturb him. Now, <laughs> now he has nothing to. Now he can't do anything about my counter spells and such. <laughs> Alright, draw my card. Get in and hit ya. Hit ya for two. Get him, Grandpa. <laughs> Alright. I hope he knows that Xander is never hitting the field. I mean, we're both playing very high cost. Yeah, we're gonna negate that. <sighs> we're both playing very high cost creatures as our commanders. You can't counter it, bud. Hmm, interesting. That's okay. Let's go ahead and opt. No, let's not get the heirloom. I'm only one mana away. There we go. Oof, couldn't ask for a better start. And we'll just pass. Because I can take all my turn on his turn. you got discard two cards uh, you know what just yeah Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. My turn. Let's wait on that. In the turn. Discards half my hand rounded down. That's only one card. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're playing very strategically, the both of us. <laughs> All right, midnight clock. Well, I am free to run out Jin Cataxius. <laughs> ah, Andy scoops. 
<laughs> Gotta love an instant speed Rivers rebuke. I mean, oh, man. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to show you guys what this deck is actually capable of. But as you can see, it is salty. Let's get one more game in. One more game, and we'll try and see what we can do with this. I mean, I'd hate to... I don't even know if you can play his, Historic Brawl against Sparky. And I would hate to do that to Sparky. He's such an idiot. You know, such a lovable idiot. All right. Ugh. Oof. Oh, man. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna mole. Better. Still like to see a little more, but we'll run with it. All right, replicating ring. That's okay. If I can replicate the replicating ring, then I can replicate even a bit more. <laughs> We'll see. Generals Enforcer. Humans are legendary. Humans are indestructible. And he is a zombie wizard, so I don't know why. But hey, we'll cycle that away. Thank God. Get another land. Other zombies have been. Ooh, Pyre of Heroes. I see where this is going. Alright, we'll play. No, we'll get the midnight clock out. Get the clock out. And here comes Rada Trabic of Herborg. We'll bring out a cloud concealer to draw a card. We will foretell an Al Rune's Epiphany and pass the turn. At least now I have a blocker. Gisa, oh boy. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, we'll take the five. Draw land. We will do a replicating ring. Um, has to be a creature or planeswalker I control, but no attacks in my turn. At least I can block something, blur it, and yeah. Veto. Gonna sack Veto. Alright. Sack and Veto. Alright. Creating a copy. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. And he got a Dark Priest of Magyar. Miracle. Miracle. Whatever it is. Block him. Blur the cloud can see here. And we'll draw two cards actually. And draw a card. Thank you. Alright, we'll play a reliquary tower. We'll do 
Yeah, let's, let's do an all runes epiphany. And then brainstorm. We'll put an island and an island back on top. And that's fine. Hit shift for two. Because at this point, I'm just trying to find something that I can do here. River's Rebuke would be a fantastic, but I guess we'll go with we'll go with Jin Kataxius and Baral, Chief of Compliance. And no attacks. Okay, got a Takanuma. Creatures gain lifelink. Well, that's gonna kill me. Yeah, GG's. I mean, if that doesn't do it, I mean, what are you gonna do? We'll do that. Because if that dies, yes, that doesn't count. <laughs> oh, damn it. There it is. And that does it. It shouldn't count if he's gone. <laughs> that shouldn't count if he's gone. Well, unfortunately, this deck did not go off the way it wanted to. But we did get some good games in. We got some good games in. It was quite interesting quite the interesting deck to say the least with this Jin Kataxius progress tyrant you know I would have loved to see a little more out of it but hey we come we play we have fun and if you feel the need to try and improve the deck by all means you know honestly I'm I don't think I need the Jin Kataxius core auger I just did it for flavor because, you know, Jinkataxius. It's Jinkataxius. But, I mean, obviously this deck could use some upgrades and some different things done, but I have had this deck go off crazy before. I've had it go bleh before. There was one time where I got three key to the archive copies and got two second suns in my hand in one turn. I mean, it, it can go any number of ways. But that's Magic the Gathering for you, a children's card game. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Please do come back, like, and subscribe if you feel the need. We'll talk to you later. You have a great day.